UFC featherweight division title. All right, so here he is. They call him T-City, short for Triangle City, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega is a great fighter, a guy that has all the ability inside the octagon. He started as a Jiu-Jitsu practitioner, but you have seen the evolution of Brian Ortega as his career has continued to go on, has continued to proceed. Brian Ortega is getting better and better and better. He has now found himself staring across the octagon of some of the best fighters the division has ever seen, and he will continue to do that as long as he keeps developing the skills that are necessary. And sometimes it's hard to become a champion without having tasted defeat. A lot of people believe the Max Holloway fight for Ortega will be something he can build upon moving forward. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy. He is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. All right, now we bring you the tail of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Brian T. City Ortega. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Tbilisi, Georgia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Giga Ninja Chikaze. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready? You ready? between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a ground weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. All right, Muay Thai clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. 
DC, didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the pillar. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Distance gets the single collar tie. Pretty good right hand. Boy, tie plump. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Stuffs the takedown there. How good, good is this? Oh, it was a perfectly placed shot. And you see his opponent reacting violently from that point. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All 25 total strikes and counting have now landed for Brian T. City Ortega. Oh, connects with the one, two. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, big elbow. Big hook. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in big martial arts. Guys have found this, and they are fighting behind him real well. Right hand upstairs. Oh, collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Nice defense there, huge block. in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. around for too long. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. his opponent by way of submission. Watch a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground. DC, talk us through the house. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. 
He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Well, hard not to feel good for the UFC featherweight champion of the world, not only getting the job done here tonight, but getting the finish as well. A huge submission and one of the bigger performances of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 12 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission and new undisputed UFC featherweight believe it I don't believe it we have a new UFC featherweight champion you didn't necessarily see this coming a mile away but you thought maybe he could get it done and, and man did he ever tonight you knew that he was tough but you knew how good our champion was going into the fight but tonight he believed man he believed